Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I am Madden Gaming and I'm back with another reaction video In today's video we got some more Madden news Yes sir, we got this new Madden 24 leak is a game changer Ooh, I can't wait to see what the game changer is But before we hop into this reaction, I need you guys to like this video right now Subscribe to your boy if you want more reactions just like this one And without further ado, let's jump right into it Oh, before we jump into this, if you guys are new here, I just want to let you know on videos like this i'm gonna watch it all the way through with you guys and then i'm gonna hold my thoughts and opinions at the end of the video so let's jump right into it we just got some more big leaks for madden 24 and as always you know i'm here to update you guys every step of the way on everything you need to know about the upcoming madden game so if you're new to the channel and you never want to miss out on any of these future madden 24 updates or updates surrounding other football games that are set to come out over the next year like the new ncaa game maximum football or the upcoming nfl 2k arcade game make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you never miss any of those videos when they go live now not too long ago we got some news about the beta for madden 24 and when we learned about the beta for madden 24 which is less than a month away we learned that pc was going to be a part of the beta so we knew that pc was now coming over to the current gen version ps5 and xbox series x now with that information we also assumed that we could finally be getting cross play for madden 24 which is something that had been rumored for the past couple of Maddens and was supposedly supposed to be a part of Madden 23. And with crossplay getting put into FIFA last year, it definitely made even more sense that this year they would finally be able to put it in Madden. And today we got a leak that points towards exactly that happening. We got a bit of information from the Mutt Leaks Twitter account and this account does not leak stuff all the time, but when they do, they've always been spot on. When they put out some information, it has always been true. They know what they're talking about. They never post anything that's false and here's what they had to say a little while ago it says at elite gamer we can't changes for madden 24 in previous iterations each platform had a unique patch data branch rosters live content tuning etc in madden 24 per platform branches are removed only two branches now exist gen 4 plus gen 5 gen 4 meaning playstation 4 and xbox one and gen 5 meaning playstation 5 the xbox series x slash s and now also pc now what this means basically is that we're going to be getting crossplay for madden 24 because they've removed the per platform branch for all of the server related updates meaning there's not going to be just a dedicated xbox branch or a playstation 5 branch or a pc branch we've got gen 4 and gen 5 meaning playstation 4 and xbox one users should be able to play versus each other and then playstation 5 xbox series x slash s and pc users should be able to play versus each other but that's really just kind of putting it lightly because there's a lot of more pros that come with crossplay finally being introduced into Madden 24 and of course there are a few cons that come with it as well but I do believe the pros far outweigh the cons another interesting bit of information before we continue on into that is that the Mutt Leagues account also posted a few days ago that there have already been two closed betas for Madden 24 with one internal test and one external test they had a closed beta during the month of March and then also during the month of April which is pretty typical usually in March and April sometimes in May there are very secretly closed betas for the Madden game I've actually never been a part of any of the really top secret closed betas usually it's a few members from the community that get to kind of play those it's usually the people they go to more so for gameplay related feedback people that understand the ins and outs of the game you know really really well and kind of know how to find problems and stuff like that or kind of help drive maybe certain gameplay decisions the game i've never been involved in those i've only done the regular closed betas that you know are open to thousands of people to sign up for we're getting that one in june but they've already been doing some internal and external testing over the past few months so we're definitely getting close to madden 24 season and that's why the leaks are starting to creep out now in terms of cross play for madden 24 there's a lot of really good things that come with this obviously the big one is that you can play with friends on either console that's always been kind of a big issue in gaming and it's becoming less of an issue as more games are adopting cross play 
AAA, but some of your buddies might be on PlayStation, some might be on Xbox, hey, some might be on PC, and before you could only play against those people if you were on the same console. Now you don't have to do that. You can be on Xbox, your buddy could be on PlayStation or on PC, and y'all can actually play games versus each other. But another really big thing about this is it just creates a larger player base for the game overall. Now I'm not sure how this is going to work as it pertains to certain game modes like online head to head or Madden Ultimate Team, but I would assume that everybody's going to be in the same player pool. So like Ultimate Team players, for example, this could mean that everybody's operating off of one auction house and one leaderboard, for example, which is going to be pretty interesting. I'm really wondering how that's going to work. I'm wondering, you know, the problems that that could potentially cause because we know there's a lot of server related problems with Madden over the past few years, especially inside of Ultimate Team. So with everybody being on the same auction house, while it's going to probably be good for the game in certain areas, I do think there is some potential for some problems with that as well, but we just kind of have to wait and see how it's going to unfold. But I think that could lead to potential cheaper prices, potentially on the auction house for the game. I'm not really a mutt wizard like that, but I would just assume the whole player base operating off of one auction house would maybe be better for that than not, but we'll wait and see. But for actually finding matchups in regular online head to head or ultimate team or superstar KO or squads, especially, I think this could really be big for squads, probably be a lot easier to find matchups because you're going to have so many more players all pulling, you know, from the same player pool instead of just the people on that system so that is actually pretty cool i'm interested to see if more people are gonna go over to pc now if pc is included which it looks like it will be because they said it's just gen 4 plus gen 5 and pc is on gen 5 now so if pc is a part of crossplay i wonder if more people are going to move over to pc because typically the pc version of madden does perform a little better it's a little bit faster obviously pc games are gonna have that type of a benefit in the menus and just kind of the the rate at which the game refreshes and stuff like that also the pc version of the game typically does look just a little bit better it might be not the most notable thing in the world but typically the pc version is going to look a little bit better than the console version so if you're all playing in the same player pool and obviously you can use an xbox controller on pc you might even be able to use playstation controllers on pc now i'm not sure but i know for sure you can use xbox controllers so it's not like you have to actually game with the keyboard but i'm just curious to see if more people jump over to pc if everybody's in the same player pool because I think you might actually get a better experience gaming directly from the PC versus doing it on console. And another potential great thing of having everybody kind of in the same player pool is I think this will definitely be really good for CFMs, online CFMs that is, because it's just going to be easier to find people to play in your leagues. You can fill spots quicker if you got to kick people out or if people drop out of the league. There's going to be so many more people to pull from instead of just looking for people on a particular system. So I do think crossplay has a ton of benefits. The one big bad part of this is obviously the potential to hacking with pc but i don't really think it's as big of an issue as maybe some people think it's going to be yes there's going to be more instances of some online hacking or glitches because on the pc version of the game you know you can kind of you can kind of get a little wonky with things if you've played other pc games i know i've seen people in 2k you know there's hackers that go into the park with like these crazy builds and you know stuff like that but i don't think it's something that's going to be as common as people think into where you're just never going to get online and just have regular games that's something that's probably going to happen one out of every hundred or so games not even that often probably one out of every 300 games or something like that and honestly i don't think the madden community on pc is a very big hacking community obviously if everything is cross play it's going to open up you know the potential for more people to maybe go to pc because they can do that but i don't think it's going to be a huge issue i mean we see a bunch of glitches in madden we see people find game breaking stuff and use it online all the time so that's not something that's uncommon i don't think pc is going to make that aspect of things so much more worse than what it already is at times so don't think it's anything to be too concerned about yes you're going to see a few more instances of some crazy things happening but i don't think it's going to be a every game or every other game thing but with the pc community being so small for madden i actually think crossplay is a really good thing for the pc users because it's so much harder to find games on pc if you're in ultimate team it's so much harder to find good prices on the auction house at times because there's just not a lot of people playing it on pc so if pc can be in the same player pool with the consoles that's going to actually make make PC Madden much more viable. In my opinion, it has not been a good way to play Madden for the most part, unless you were an offline player, because if you're doing anything online, it's just not going to go that smoothly with such a small player base. But now when they can dip into the same player pool as everybody else, that's actually going to make playing on PC now possibly the preferred way to play for some people, because now there's really not going to be any cons to playing on PC. So really interesting to see how this unfolds. This is some pretty big news for Madden 24. And if you want to know some of the other
other things we've already heard about Madden 24, you can Well, he said my favorite thing. Cross, cross play, cross platform, wherever you, wherever you want to call it. But before I let you know the thoughts about this video, I do want to answer a question that he had. He said he not sure if you can play uh PC games with the PlayStation controller. Yes, you can. Um, but I loved everything that he said in this video. The positives outweigh the negatives a hundred percent. And the PC user base, I haven't I don't know if it's that big or not. I've seen like maybe one youtube video where somebody tried to play on their pc with the mouse and keyboard i ain't gonna lie to you that this this is a big plus if this really happens for the whole madden community hopefully you guys love it as well but that's gonna do it for me guys hopefully you guys did enjoy this reaction love every single one of you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one